A Sound of Thunder from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. A Sound of Thunder is a science fiction short story by Ray Bradbury, first published in Collier's magazine in 1952. As of 1984, it was the most republished science fiction story up to the present time. It is based on the concept that was later termed the butterfly effect. Plot summary. The story begins in the year 2055, a future in which the time machine has been invented but is still very temperamental. A hunter named Eccles goes to pays to go travelling back into the past on a guided safari to kill a Tyrannosaurus Rex. As the party waits to depart, they talk about the recent presidential elections in which an apparently fascist candidate Deutscher has just been defeated by the, mo by the more moderate Keith, to the relief of many concerned. After the party arrives in the past, Travis, the hunting guide, and Lesperance, Travis's assistant, warn Eccles and the two other hunters, Billings and Kramer, about the necessity of minimizing their effect on events when they go back, since tiny alterations to the distant past could snowball into catastrophic changes in history. The hunters must stay on a levitating path to avoid disrupt disrupting the environment and only kill animals which were going to die within minutes anyway. Despite his earlier eagerness to begin the hunt, Eccles loses his nerve at the sight of the T-Rex. Travis tells him he cannot leave, but Eccles panics and wears off the path. The two guides kill the dinosaur, and shortly afterward, the tree that would have killed the dinosaur in the absence of human intervention falls on the corpse. Travis's elation quickly changes to fury when they find Eccles and see by his muddy boots that he did, in fact, fall off the path. Travis threatens to leave Eccles in the past unless Eccles remove, re removes the bullets from the dinosaur's body as they cannot be left behind. Upon returning to the present, Eccles notices subtle changes. English words are now spelled strangely, people behave differently, and, worst of all, Deutscher has won the election instead of Keith. Looking through the mud on his boots, Eccles finds a crushed butterfly whose death was apparently the cause of many changes. He frantically pleads with Travis to take him back into the past to undo the damage, but in reply there is only the ominous sound of thunder, the same sound which had previously preceded the arrival of the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The reader is then left to assume that Travis shot Eccles and or himself. 